I think one of the hardest things for me uh, outside of losing Tony was the recognition that money is a powerful motivator. A powerful motivator that friends say led to Tony Shea's downfall and untimely death. And tonight, our investigation into the former Zappo CEO's final months alive heads into its final days. As we showed you here last night, the entrepreneur who is credited with revitalizing downtown Las Vegas had just cut off an important lifeline. And when friends came to visit him, they were shocked at what they saw. By summer 2020, Tony Shea's drug of choice was nitrous oxide, also called Whippets. He conducted business meetings in his bed, notes scribbled on his body. Documents the ADU's now investigators obtained say Shea wanted his Park City ranch to become a so-called Disneyland 2.0, where customers would pay in seashells and he would collect every hot air balloon in the world. He bought a property around his home, created this natural outside dishwasher, and offered a person a million dollars to be a tour guide on this pond. Shea's longtime friend, Tyler Williams, says the tech mogul offered him a million dollars to wake him up in the morning. Tony used to always say, if you had a magic wand and anything were possible and regulations or resources weren't a problem, what would you do? And so, yes, we thought about big ideas. Then those ideas would go into a processing system around him that people who were rational and could tell him that we looked into this, this doesn't make sense, here's why, none of those people were left. That August, Park City Police responded to Shea's home for a welfare check. Police met him at the front door and soon left, with an officer writing, he appeared to be in good health from what I could tell. By summer, this was Tony Shea. Doesn't even look like him. Hundreds of tiny canisters surrounding the entrepreneur. He was going through one every five to ten minutes. Shay's friend, singer Jewel, and her business manager stayed with Tony in mid-August. They took these photos. I don't even recognize this person's emaciated. By mid-September, this was Tony Shay. One person slipping him notes like this, does Tony approve a check mark next to why or yes in a multi-million dollar real estate deal? Documents say that year, Shea acquired nearly 90 million in real estate assets, not including the former Zappos headquarters, which he bought for $70 million. A figure lawyers for his estate say was 30 million over its value. They got this far because instead of his community rallying to try to work together in love to save a friend, the community fractured into different groups of people that had different interests in mind. The group of people that were around him when he was like this didn't have his best interests at heart. In late October, someone in Shay's inner circle consulted a doctor about having him committed. We have uh, one victim being pulled from the fire now and responsive. But it was too late. Weeks later, Shay would sleep alone in this shed with a propane tank, blanket, and candles. He would catch fire dying from his injuries a week later. As much as Tony invested into his community and into systems that fostered connection and those type of things, when he needed his community the most, when he needed society the most to help him, it just wasn't, it wasn't there. No person has ever been charged with a crime in connection with the claim or that evidence you just saw. Right now, several lawsuits are underway in the estate's attempt to unwind Shay's business dealings.